So those are the uh, example of um, application of uh, everything engine for aircraft propulsion. Let us now look into the industrial applications, industrial applications of gas turbine engine. Firstly, the life required of an industrial plant is of the order of 100,000 hours without major overhaul. You do not want a uh, land-based gas turbine that generate power, has uh, um, life hours of 1,000 hours, for example. So imagine if every 1,000 hours, you have to replace parts and so on. So you want a reliable uh, system that can go beyond the, uh, for a longer period of time, okay? Because you are supplying power to residential industry and so on, okay? Which is uh, not expected in the gas turbine engine. So obviously for gas turbine engine, the aircraft application uh, is uh, you have less hours, meaning that you need to do uh, services, overhaul and so on. But uh, for the land-based or in land-based, or industrial application, you may require uh, them to be more highly reliable. Secondly, limitation of the size and weight of an aircraft power plant is much important than in the case of other type of gas turbine. Right? For aircraft application, you want to make sure the engine does not take as much uh, weight for the aircraft as well as the size. You do not want to carry a big, huge engine for a small uh, aircraft, but that is not an issue for land-based uh, or industrial plant. Eh? So thirdly, the aircraft power plant can make use of the kinetic energy of the gas leaving the turbine, right? because the uh, air coming out from the turbine can also produce uh, thrust, right? uh, whereas it is wasted in other type of gas turbine engine. So those are the, among others, advantages and differences between land-based and aircraft gas turbine engine. So over here, okay, figure 1.13, right? It is, it is a Ruston Tornado industrial gas turbine with separate power turbine. Um, I believe we have shown to you earlier the type of a uh, gas turbine engine. Uh, which is uh, connected to a power turbine. Eh? So it is uh, using uh, liquid or gaseous, gaseous fuel. A separate power turbine is used for both variable as well as the fixed speed. This is another example of another land-based gas turbine, which is Siemens V94, large single shaft gas turbine engines. Uh, this is a uh, 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 by Zeman. Eh? So it is for driving a constant speed generator, which is capable of producing 150 megawatt. It's no longer kilowatt, it's a megawatt and uses two large off-board combustor, right? Because it is a closed cycle, right? It is not an open cycle. Um, the industrial version designed to drive a generator replaces the fan with two stage compressor. Imagine the gas turbine engine, the whole system, it is a, 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 a huge building, right? And um, you, it's, you cannot install this on, on any aircraft because this is, this is, this is uh, suitable only for a land-based application. Eh? As a result, low pressure turbine can provide excess power to drive the generator. Um, this is a, uh, when we talk about comparison eh, between turbofan, uh, aircraft turbofan and industrial version of a uh, Rolls-Royce Trent because this type of engine being installed in aircraft as well as in the land-based application. Uh, this particular Rolls-Royce Trent engine is a large three-spool turbofan with single stage fan driven by five stages of low pressure turbine okay so you have the uh, three spool uh, turbo fan uh, with single stage fan driven by five stages low pressure turbine the aircraft version okay for the aircraft version it uses a conventionally fully annular combustion system while the industrial 
engine uses separate radial cans for lower NOx emission. Because for land-based uh, application, you do not want to uh, release um, uh, nitrogen oxide to the environment at the ground. Eh? For high application, um, probably it's not that severe to the environment.